and welcome to week two of Team Comp. We're going to be starting um, with uh, Team Piccolo versus the um, Team Antag here. Um, we're in Canto Cup and it's uh, Ash versus uh, myself. Um, just going in here, we've had a switch. Um, I've safe swapped there. Probably could have stayed in against the water gun lap press for a little while, but obviously that ice beam wouldn't uh, do the Pidgeot too well. So we've swapped here and uh, we've managed to get the jump on him. We can shield here and farm down, which is good. We'll definitely get the shield back uh, in the next matchup. And he's brought in Hypno, so um, those confusions doing a lot of damage being the shadow, but we'll still be able to get to um, two foul plays here and he'll have to shield both if he doesn't want his Hypno to die straight up. So. <clears throat> Great shape here with one switch. We've got shield advantage now as well. He's got a bit of energy on that Hypno, so we're just going to stop ourselves from getting farmed down and go straight in the Pidgeot there. He's swapped into the Water Gun Lapras, but a bit of a different proposition now. Shields are down. This Brave Bird's coming through, and it's absolutely going to slap this Lapras. Bang. See you later, Lappy. And uh, he's going to have to throw here. Uh, this would be Thunder Punch. This would be taking out the Pidgeot, but that's fine. Um, we've got the Graveler in the back and a shield. Um, we only need to get to one move. He's probably out of move now, but he needs to get back to back to be any chance. And yeah, unfortunately, it's game over there. So um, the Juggernaut rolls on and we get the win. Um, just keeping us in suspense here with a bit of the typical Niantic lag, but bang, we get that one done. So let's roll into... Um, the second vid of the um, Team Piccolo highlights, and we've got Theta versus uh, Rick Nevolts. Uh, looks like we're in Great Leg here. Um, must be open Great Leg, I'd say. All right, so really good lead for Rick Nevolt here, who's obviously um, we're on Theta's perspective here. Uh, he's swapped, but we're gonna he's gonna get another Weather Ball off here, and tell you what, these Weather Ball spamming mine are absolutely shocking. Um, Probably should have just swapped straight out, but he, he delayed it to build up to a move. So he's got that in the back, but, um, oh, and he's gone into his own Vigoroth here. Let's see what he decides to do. It doesn't look like he's going to shield, um, but he'll definitely be able to farm down all the way from here. Oh, he's actually thrown. It was CMP. So, oh, Theta's shielded here. He's it's not the best shield. He's going to get farmed down here. Um, he will be able to get this uh, Vigoroth quite low. Perhaps his purpose is to try and farm it down, but... Mudshot doesn't do enough damage, and Vigoroth uh, will get to another body slam here and draw the second shield, so it's not looking too good for Theta at this stage. Um, does have some energy, but he can just bring the um, Politoed back in at, at this point. Um, oh, he's actually gone into his Nine Tails, and oh gee. I can tell you I've had a few experiences from Ultra League. Um, Powder Snow Nine Tails with Weather Ball is absolutely ridiculous. So it looks like he's just triple spam team from Rick Nevolt here, and Theta's having a hard time keeping up. Scum, unfortunately, gets massively outpaced. Uh, Rich will probably let this one go, I think, and let the Nine Tails just come in and sort this out. Two shields. Um, weather Ball coming through now. Yeah, so it's going to clean up big time. It's just, yeah, it's put it this way Weather Ball's absolutely broken. Absolutely broken. It makes those mon incredibly tough to deal with unless you're resisting the move. He's throwing the second Hydro Cannon here. He'll probably won't even shield this and go the flex. Obviously, you can't have a Sludge Wave and a Hydro back to back. And Weather Ball coming through now, and that'll finish things off. So, yeah, geez, spammy team there and uh, got, the, got it done. So now we're looking at Rich from his perspective in his other matchup, which was against Antag, and it looks like it's Kanto here. So reasonably good lead for Rich. Um, he's at least going to be able to draw a shield out of this matchup before he gets um, charmed down. So first move coming through here. Um, Antag decides to block that one, um, which will mean he'll probably let this one go and then look to charm down the whole way. And does, yeah, should be able to charm down from here with that. But he's pretty low. He will have a move stored, but Rich has got that Charizard, so he won't have to shield anything here. It's probably Moonblast. Coming through. No, it's Play Rough, so, yep, he's done well there. He'll be able to farm this all the way down. He's got shield advantage here, so we'll just have to see what comes in. He's brought in... I'm not sure what move that Pikachu's running. But, um, yeah... 
that blast burn just one shots. Unfortunately, he must have tried to call the bait there. Goes into muck, um, and yeah, Antag really needs to shield this. And um, well, really, he's not going to win unless he calls the bait, but he has to kind of shield. He has shielded and he's, he's copped her there, so um, this muck should get to the sludge wave and does, and that's the end of that game. It was unfortunate there, but um, yeah, I felt like he had to call the bait. It was the only way he was going to win that game. Um, but yeah, two shield flex there. All right, so staying with um, Piccolo highlights, we've got uh, Sally Bra, and we're in Division B here, and she's uh, playing Captain B, who's brought his um, trademark Shadow Dragonite there. But he's gone straight into his Wiggly here, and Sally just got a bit more energy and sort of whittled it down a bit so she could then shield and farm down with her own. So not a bad tactic there. That Dragonite certainly won't be coming back in, and I think Captain B will be happy that he's drawn it out. To be fair, um, what's he got in the back? Oh, he's got Charizard, so this is really good for him. Um, Ice Beam will do a significant amount of damage, so he'll probably look to shield and farm all the way down, uh, and he's going to do that. So yeah, um, game in the balance at the moment, but that Hypno does. Oh, she's gone into Hypmonchan here. He's thrown the Dragon Claw. She's called the bait. Wow. He's going to now throw another Dragon Claw. She'll have to shield now anyway. So let's see what he decides to do. Probably had to go into his Dragonite and take the move on the... Um, take the move on the Dragonite there. Because unfortunately this Hypno is going to farm down here. Shield farm down. And uh, that Dragonite's not going to appreciate this Ice Beam coming through. Uh, this Ice Punch coming through. This will probably one-shot, I reckon. Or pretty damn close. Yeah, at that stage, he probably had to sacrifice his Dragonite and, and try and uh, keep the Charizard alive. But it wasn't looking too good. Charizard, because of the flying type, pops a lot from Ice Punch anyway. So, good win there. Um, team comp there. All right, so now we've got Chipsy versus the Bi. Uh, let's see how he goes here. Shocking lead for him. Stays in for a little while uh, and then goes into the Guardi. Uh, sorry, goes into Snorlax. Um, but yeah, slow swap from from the buy there. Um, allows him to get to this body slam anyway, and we'll see what happens after this. Um, yep. This should just be a Hydro coming through. But in any case, don't want to be shielding any of this stuff. He'll get to another body slam here. This won't KO. But he's desperate to win switch here, so... Oh, doesn't shield again. That's interesting. Maintaining switch would have certainly been in his interest here, but... Um, Chipsy will be smart enough to shield here and just lick down. So, yeah, he's one switch back and it's cost him a shield. Yeah, he'll let this go, but this Hydro won't KO anyway, so he'll be able to lick down here and does so. So, yeah, that was definitely uh, worth the shield because that Dragonite would have had a bad time. So it gives him a chance here. Gets to the Body Slam, which is really good. Uh, let's see what happens here. Oh, he's shielded the body slam on the Metagross. Well, things are things are level now, so... Oh, and it's a Waterfall Gyarados too. That's very interesting. And he's swapped into the Dragonite now to catch the move. That was very clever as well. So obviously recognising the Dragonite was... Oh, and he's caught an Earthquake. That's even better. So he can just throw his Dragon Claw here and chip down the Guardi. Um, it's going to be tight, but I reckon he'd be able to Waterfall down that uh, Guardi now that's a little bit lower. And he'd be able to get a crunch off on that Metagross. So we'll just have to see how this plays out. Yeah, it's, oh, he gets a free Waterfall there. Shield here, and yeah, I reckon Waterfall down and then double crunch on the Metagross, and he should have this one done. So the Metagross is out of energy. Yep, he's at two crunches now. So the crunch will definitely KO. So a well-thought-out game after an absolutely horrible lead there. Um, he managed to wing back switch, and that was enough for him to get the win. So yeah, pretty lucky that... Uh, he was, he was allowed to win switch there because that was really key. But uh, well played. All right, now let's get into Team Antag highlights. Uh, the first game we've got here is uh, Post Malone versus versus the Chefster. All right, let's see how we go here. Uh, pretty neutral sort of lead here. Um, obviously, Clefable's a pretty thick boy, um, and that charm does a lot of damage. Uh, we'll have to see what move set um, Chef's running. He's shooting the first, and it's play rough that he's throwing. Okay, that suggests he probably doesn't have Ice Beam, um, which is really good. 
So, <clears throat> second move coming through here. He's not shielding this one. Didn't really work his way up to the hydro. So, he's, he's gonna, he should really throw here, though. Does throw in the end. Probably should have tried to throw before the... Uh, second play rough came through just to force the shield but in any case he's one switch and that could be enough depending on what's in the back oh gee okay oh gee he's going in with his vigor off here he must know something that i don't because i would have thought going in with your stun fist would be the go there resisting pretty much everything that um that uh it, that the uh, gal can throw out and he's got to a second move here look he's going to be able to pressure this gal and get rid of it <coughs> Um, and uh, giving him some on on on, uh, on the spot coaching now. I'm not sure that's legal, mate. Jeez, Ricky, you better sort yourself out. You really want to win this, don't you? No, it's subsequent body slam coming through now. This should still KO. Uh, he's shielded twice. Okay, and he's farming down. Okay, well this is this has actually worked out really well here. He's going to get debuffed here, but he should just about be able to mud shot down if he needs to. Oh, a bit of an insult coming through from Antag there. That's probably about Chef. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it's a Marowak in the back. He's going to be able to get this done, I think. And looks like uh, the insult and revving up um, Post Malone's got this done. He'll get the rock slide through here. <clears throat> the Galv's out of energy. So it's going to be really tight. But I think he can get to the rock slide before he gets yet. Yeah, there's the... Yep, yeah, okay, so he's at the move now. Unfortunately, the uh, stun fist gets it done. Bit unorthodox from um, from the chef there, but uh, in the end got it done, and that's all that matters. So um, now we're looking at some juicy highlights versus, um, versus Eddie. So Eddie wins lead there, but he's decided to stay in here, and um, Dussie's uh, going to pressure him straight up with the earthquake here, so we'll just have to see if this goes through. Oh, and we've had a bit of sponsorship come through there. We're sponsored by Get Wrecked, and uh, Eddie's had to bring in his Giratina now, which is probably what he should have swapped into in the first place. So, yeah, the tables have turned a little bit here. I like Dulcie's chances from here. And, well, I guess we've kind of ruined it because it's uh, it's Team Antag highlights, so we probably know how this is going to end up. But uh, still an interesting game here. Eddie will look to farm down, I imagine. He's throwing the Hydro here. And he'll let that go, so good call there. So all not lost, but uh, he can now get that Charizard on this Giratina. Um, ominous Wind coming through. Oh, it's Dragon Breath too, so that's really, really good. So he's had to swap there. He's got a Togekiss in the back, and he's gone into his Mel Metal. So yeah, unfortunately, losing lead there was huge. This Mel Metal is going to absolutely go to town now um, on this Togekiss. He can shield, safely shield here. It's only an ancient power. I think, yeah, it was only eight charms, but uh, doesn't doesn't need to worry now. He can uh, double up on the rock slides. Uh, this will come through now. Bang. And he can farm down from here. He can't... I don't think he'll be able to get to another move. This will just be an ancient power again. It'll look like eight charms. That coming through, and he'll farm down. Got loads of energy. His Charizard's in good shape. He's just going to swap straight out. And throw his Dragon Claw, and that'll do it. He could have even just thrown his Rock Slide there before dipping out, but uh, got it done. So yeah, that uh, that big uh, Earthquake non-shield at the start was really the difference. All right, so now we've got um, uh, Hawk Ozzy playing uh, Lloyd. Looks like Brincanto here. So big, big lead win. Um, what's going on here? Um, geez, uh, I don't know, Lloyd. What's with your recording here? It seems to have a little bit of something else on the side. Hmm. Oh, and we're back. All right, so it looks like uh, Hawk went into his Wiggly. Um, Lloyd stayed in for a little bit, and then he went into his Electrode. Ice Beam coming through here. He's going to throw. This This game's turned a little bit now. Uh, it was a very, very hard lead win. Discharge coming through now. Um, but, yeah, this... Uh, so Electrode's only got a little bit of health left on it. So he's coming with his Marowak there. All right, he'll want to get these Aqua Tails off. He's swapped, gone into his Poly. And uh, now that we've got shields down, um, or some shields down, this would be interesting because he would be able to dynamic punch his way through this Wiggly here. He might even be able to farm this down, not quite. 
but uh, he'll be able to, yeah, get a little bit of energy there. So it's gonna be a bit of a race here. This Aquatail coming through now, we'll have to just see if he's got Shadow Ball. If he's got Shadow Ball, he could get close to winning this. So move coming through now, he'll shield this. I imagine this will be the bait, and it is. So setting up for a big finish here. Um, he'll either need, okay, the move coming through. This could actually be a Shadow Bone. So we'll have to wait and see. It's coming through, and it is, oh, it is. But can he get there? Oh, he's just got to the move. He's literally survived with two HP. Pretty uh, impressive game from Hawk there, I must say. He did lose in the end, but that was very impressive. All right, so now we've got uh, Post Malone again versus Express Yourself. Um, not a great lead here. Dragonite can win if it double shields, if it opts to double shield. But he's not. He's uh, building up some energy and going his, to his own Metagross, probably trying to catch the Meteor Mash there. Not a great switch in, unfortunately. This Garchomp will dominate. Uh, he's throwing the Earthquake here. Probably go the Meteor Mash if you get an opportunity. Um, move coming through. What's this going to be? Oh, it's Outrage. Okay. Maybe he's running Sand Tomb or maybe it's single move. But in any case, look, the Outrage still does a fair bit and he's looking to farm down here. All right, now he's throwing the Meteor Mash, which is the move to go for. And that KOs the Garchomp. So to see what he's, he's got he's come back in and he's farming down with the medium uh, with the metagross there not bad play uh but he's got kyogre in the back here and i have to see what more he needs to throw the earthquake here he's thrown the medium ash which is resisted so he swapped straight out and he's gone into rayquaza and uh post malone's got a little gift for rayquaza waiting in the form of uh, his dragonite here and he's copped it and uh yeah unfortunately ray it looks like it's not even running a dragon move set so see you later buddy and he's going to throw the um, Dragon Claw here. And what's he going to do? He's going to have to try and farm down, is he? Jeez, he's... Uh, oh, he's got to the move here. Pretty critical. He'll have to shield this. And uh, I don't think there's too much hope for a 10 HP Metagross versus a Kyogre with two shields. Waterfall gets through. That might have almost even done it. So we'll just have to see what happens here. Gets... He doesn't even shield. He's gone for the flex, but unfortunately you'll have to shield now. But yeah, pretty convincing win. Um, so yeah, well played post Malone. All right. Team Theta highlights now. And uh, we just finished with an Espresso post Malone match and now we're uh, we're going the other way. So these two must have had some good duels. And we've got Shiny Ray back in the equation here. All right. It looks like it's a waterfall Gyarados. So that definitely works in Rayquaza's favor. Obviously, dragon type resisting the water move. It's getting to its first move now. Ancient power coming through, and that's super effective. Uh, he's going to throw here. Um, it's a twister, so, and he shielded it, so that was a good shield on his part. And he should be able to farm down all the way now, and has has done so. So worth the shield there, and he's got a lot of energy too. But he's getting absolutely ripped apart here. He's it a, looks like it's a rock throw. Uh, sorry, a smackdown Rhyperia bit spicy and now the surf coming through obviously thought there might be a dragonite in there somewhere so he swapped into his um machamp here first move coming through outrage yep all right so what's he gonna do here he's gonna throw the cross chop i imagine just to whittle him down yep unfortunately left it he's over farm there and he's gonna cost him a shield so that could be pretty critical actually because that rayquaza does have a bit of energy anyway cross chop coming through now this will KO. Let this guy. So what's he got in the back? He's got a shield. He's got energy on his ray. And he comes back in. It's thrown the rock slide here. And shields that. And ooh, what's this going to be? Ancient power. Oh, he's, he's, he's caught the move there, unfortunately. But this is a... Oh, my... He's going to win. He's definitely going to win here. This surf... Will do a bit of damage, but unfortunately, Smackdown's not going to be doing anything to Rhyperia. If it was Mudshot, it'd be destroying it, but he's going to be able to farm it all the way down here. And Meteor Mash is going to one hit KO the Machamp. So, yeah, I didn't see him winning that, especially after he lost his Ancient Power on the Machamp. So, well played. All right, Captain B here versus Dus. This was highly anticipated this week. And uh, Dus has got himself a Dialga here, so it's looking good on the lead for him. Very good. Uh, Captain B is farming up a lot of energy. Might throw the Shadow Ball here and dip out. Uh, a lot of Giratinas like to do that. Let's see what Dust does. Shields, but he's baited him with Ominous Wind. 
So that's pretty good. And Dulce's apps, Dulce is swapped out, but this will still be a Shadow Ball, I reckon. So it's going to do some significant damage. And he's given up Switch, so Captain B might let his uh, Giratina go down here. And, oh, he's got Togekiss, so he's not going to need to shield here. Um, but that Dialga does have energy. I imagine Dulce will bring that back in. But uh, if Captain B is willing to shield twice, you'll be able to get rid of that Dialga here too and just farm all the way down. So we'll see what he decides to do. He'll definitely shield this. And, oh, and Dulce is running Chandelure in the back. That's super spice. All right, second Iron Head coming through. This I get the feeling this is going to be pretty close. Oh, he's, he's heads up play. He probably had to let his Dialga go down there. Although... Um, Barney could have swapped out at any stage. He's thrown the Ancient Power there. Now he doesn't want to get farmed down here. But um, it looks like Dulce has gone and thrown the Flame Charge here. Probably had to farm a bit more or it would have been better. But there's only one... Oh, and it is that Mon. I was thinking there's only one Mon that will beat the um, Chandelure to the move here and potentially win the game, and that's Mewtwo. And I'd say it's game over here. Mewtwo's going to beat the uh, Dialga to the move. Um... Psy Strike could do it from here. It looks like he got a few extra Psycho Cuts in. This could almost be Shadow Ball. And it is, so that's game over. Well played, well played. All right, and now a uh, quick look at the results. Uh, team Pick have extended their lead. Um, uh, team Wildcard just behind and Theta bringing up the rear, but we've got some great action-packed games next week, so we'll see you then.